Welcome to Space News from the Electric Universe, brought to you by the Thunderbolts Project at thunderbolts.info. In this special abbreviated edition, we flash back to January 2005, when something remarkable happened on the Sun. Over a period of five days, four powerful solar flares erupted from Sunspot 720, followed by a coronal mass ejection that achieved velocities incomparably greater than anything astronomers had seen before. While it usually takes more than 24 hours for the charged particles of a solar outburst to reach the Earth, this one was a profound exception. Just 30 minutes after the explosion, Earth, some 96 million miles from the Sun, was immersed in what NASA scientists called the most intense proton storm in decades. Shortly thereafter, a NASA news release stated that the event has shaken the foundations of space weather theory. How could the material from a coronal mass ejection achieve such unthinkable velocity? In fact, even the more standard acceleration of CME charged particles away from the Sun remains unexplained by solar physicists, a problem that only underscores the mystery surrounding the 2005 eruption. Based on the sunspot's location, one astrophysicist noted that the storm's path followed the lines of force of the sun's magnetic field leading directly to Earth. A NASA headline described this connection as a superhighway for protons leading all the way from sunspot 720 to our planet. However, this same article concluded how they were accelerated remains a mystery. But proponents of the electric universe insist that the event in question is not mysterious at all. Many decades ago, plasma physicist Hannes Alfane documented the phenomenon called field-aligned currents, in which electric currents move efficiently following the direction of induced magnetic fields. Throughout the universe, across the entire electromagnetic spectrum, we see plasma jets and ejected material often attaining velocities approaching the speed of light. In electrical terms, the explanation seems obvious. Electric fields in space accelerate charged particles. Only electric fields are known to accelerate charged particles to these extreme velocities. In the electric model of the Sun, as illuminated by Professor Don Scott, the surface of the Sun acts in the fashion of a transistor, such that small changes in electric current can produce large variables in the Sun's behavior. All such interpretation requires that the Sun stand at the center of an electric field. This would mean that all of the planets and moons within the Sun's electric domain are swimming in electric currents from the Earth's own blue sprites and red jets blasting into space, to the electrified dust devils and global dust storms on Mars, to the hot poles and electrified geysers of Saturn's moon Enceladus, and even the explosive activities of comets in response to solar outbursts, and much, much more. As we continue our discussion of the electric sun and the electric universe theory, we seek to shed new light on the countless mysteries that may finally only be resolved by a reconsideration of the role of electricity in space. For continuous updates on space news from the Electric Universe, stay tuned to thunderbolts.info.